Good morning, guys. Today, I'm going to do something special. Now, if you've watched some of my videos before, I've said it more than one time that I'm very, very satisfied with these tires. So, um, these Michelin Latitude Sport 3s come standard with the Volvo XC90. And... Uh, I've I've always praised them to no end. Very comfortable. Um, they grip really well, and the handling is great. So today I'm gonna <coughs> be doing something interesting. Um, for those of you who are aware, when the Proton X70 arrived, <coughs> there are two tire brands on the cars, right? One is Continental, and the other one is GT. Uh, rather unfamiliar to Malaysians. And um, I had the chance to interview um, one of the, uh, the the GM of sales and marketing almost across, I think he travels around the world. So he's a Malaysian, very hardworking, um, past retirement age, but he's still working very hard. And uh, I learned a lot from him. So they offered me an opportunity to test their tires. They said, I mean, they, they said, yeah, we know the uh, Michelin Latitude Sport 3 is good, but we would like you to try ours. Why not? What I've just done is that I've downloaded a DB meter, a decibel meter. So, um, to try and make it as scientifically accurate as possible, I am going to switch off my air conditioning. Okay, I've switched off my air conditioning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my car to EV mode. So now the engine is off. Okay, it's dead quiet now. And I'm gonna turn it on. So, uh, oh, the moment I start speaking, it, it creates a bump. Okay, I shouldn't be doing that. Let's reset. Okay, so what I managed to see is that um, you know why I'm going at these speeds? Because at these speeds, there are no wind noise, it's just road raw, okay? So just now when my car is at a standstill, it's at 50, 49, 50, it was around there. That is the ambient noise decibel meter, all right? When you are in your room, ambient is about 48, 49, 50, it's about that. And uh, as the car starts moving it hovers around 70 db so that is the only source of noise coming would be the tires the road rolls because electric power is silent all right so after this once i change the tires we can do another test this should be really interesting and uh i'm happy to do this because i've, I've never done this before okay uh, now let's kick my engine back in Now the engine is charging the hybrid powertrain, and look, we look at the uh, rolling decibel. Okay, it averages about seventy-two with the engine started. Um, another thing, decibel meters are not linear, okay? Uh, 1 to 2 dB increase is a lot. So there is a base and then it increases from there. Uh, it's not the usual metric understanding that we have. So uh, it's a bit like the uh, Richter scale. So every increase of 1 is 
a lot. Alright? Now, as for how the car handles, first of all, the spa platform is excellent, no doubts about it. But the tyres, these Latitude Sport 3s, they are fantastic. They are grippy, they are predictable, they are linear, and they're comfortable. And they're great in the wet as well. So I have no complaints. I've heard people complaining about the Latitude Sport 3 being loud, but um, I'm, I'm not born in a Rolls Royce, so uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't imagine how quiet you want it to be. But what I really like about these tires, and of course the way the car handles, plays a big role um, how the car shifts its body weight and all that has a is more to do with the tuning and the design of the uh, the platform of the car but when you drive it um, the predictability of your track right um, the assurance that it gives you that will come from the tire and 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 I really uh, love these tires okay so I've uh, tried quite a bit, quite a few tires um, across my career. <laughs> anyway, now I'm heading to our KL Clubhouse, uh, Warren's Auto House Service, and um, I'm going to swap in four GT tires. Um, you can do a little bit of research about GT. Apparently, they are. It's, it's, it's very interesting. The root of this company is very interesting, right? It's based in Singapore. It, it is a Singaporean company, uh, but there are a lot of Malaysians in there. And they have a plant in US, they have R&D facilities in Germany, they are very big in China. Uh, they, are, they are available in about 130 over global markets, 130 over countries around the world. Okay. Just arrived and uh, let's go down and look for my tires and uh, get them swapped. Oh, guys, uh, those of you who have joined Evo Club, okay, you can actually come here and uh, let you see the machine, right? We use the uh, the most advanced Hunter uh, alignment machine, very, very accurate. And um, Evo Club members. Balancing and alignment, 20 ringgit. Join, it's free to join. So like always, when your car arrives here, they will do a prelim check on everything. All right, you just make sure uh, where are the scratches, where are the marks and everything. They'll take note of all that. Hey, Tosan. Oh, Lee got Okay, okay, ho. And uh, now we're gonna get it up. So these tires are still fairly new. 27545 R20s all 4N uh, Latitude Sport 3 and I'm gonna get them changed to these same sizing speed rating of 110Y S1 I don't know what that means hey Josan hello may I see ma see the guy now, what I want to tell you guys now is that this Michelin Latitude Sport 3s has a speed rating of V. V means these tires are designed to go up to 240 kilometers per hour. This one that I'm getting, the GT Sport S1, has a speed rating of Y. So this one can go up to 300 kilometers per hour. Not that this car can do it. But nice. I'm excited. Cheers. So, uh, yep, these tires are still very new. The mileage on the car is about three or four thousand kms. So, uh, I'm excited. Let's see how they are. And after that, they're gonna wash the tires uh, for me to bring home. <laughs> hey, these are still new and they cost about what 2,000 ringgit a piece All right so uh, so just a refresher this is our clubhouse in KL and uh, they have about how many bays was there 14 bays and uh, 
when they do their work it is extremely organized and uh, they have a parts store you know everything is uh, just like an official dealer so a very important thing workshops that are tidy they know where to put your stuff they know where to put it back okay a lot of owners do not know this when you take away parts from a car there are a lot of nuts a lot of bolts a lot of stuff all right and it's a very common thing that workshops misplace one or two and then they just chuck it up nobody will know the owner wouldn't know all right so these are good and um, for accident claims you can come here as well they do accident claims as well uh, top-notch work why they have the proper equipment all right to do full uh, claims for your for your cars they can do a full range of stuffs they also have uh, look at this a proper body and paint facility over here look at that proper stuff All right so um, uh, they are mostly on European cars, but Japanese cars as, as well, but mostly is uh, BMW, Audi, Mercedes, Volkswagen, Volvo, Land Rovers, Porsches, Bentleys or Jaguars, right? And if you're in here, it's a comfortable place. I think a lot of you are familiar with this place, all right? So these are cars, most of it belong to customers. When they want to sell their car, the, the can help you train so if you want to let go of your car you can contact us all right we'll help you hook up with them they offer you a good price and then uh, the good thing is that you guys agree on a price they'll pay you straight right yeah yep cheers and when you're waiting for your car for the service you can sit here at this comfortable cafe and do your work. There's Wi-Fi here, it's air conditioned, uh, very clean toilet. These are all stuff that you don't get with uh, usual workshops out there. Let me show you the cafe. There's our lovely Kaka over there. And then she's gonna make me a latte. Okay. There's even some decoration over here. Let me show you. Thank you. Look at that. That'll do my work. Alright. Cheers. Alright, they just got back. After they fit the tire, they did the alignment balancing. They're gonna they drive out and did a round trip just to test if everything is all right. And then now I can drive the car off. So, yep, there it is. All right, I think I'm the first SC90 <laughs> not running on Michelin Latitude Sports. All right, let's go for a drive. All right, I'm now on the uh, GT Sport S1s. First impression is very comfortable and quiet. That's the first impression. All right. And uh, I can't go into EV mode yet because uh, I don't have any battery juice left so now I'm letting my my combustion engine charge my battery I couldn't care about fuel consumption <laughs> it's gonna consume more all right when you go into charging mode it's gonna consume more but first impression it's the word is sport but it feels as though the word is comfort because it's pliant, it's very pliant. Okay.
So what I was doing just now was to show the average decibel meter. I feel less of the road, to be honest, in terms of the, the surface. Um, so that is a good and bad thing, right? You feel less, it's more comfortable. You feel more, it's less comfortable. Drives well. It drives well. It rides well. And it's very obvious in Smart Tunnel here, uh, it's a lot more comfortable. It cushioned off the... Um, you know Smart Tunnel is not like flat, flat. Okay, there's one thing that I like during the turn. During the turn, see I mentioned the steering wheel is slightly heavier, right? So during the turn, the that sensation of wanting to keep straight. See this this sort of tire right, it, it feels as though there is a little bit more resistance when you want to turn the wheels. Okay, there is a little bit more, slightly more resistant when you want to turn the wheels and that in slow traffic conditions is translated to a slightly heavier steering but when it's when it's come when it comes to a, a higher speed of driving it becomes a heavier steering sensation you know that like he wants to keep back straight so that in a way when during turns especially in smart tunnel like that a uh, low grip situation during turns that that heavier sensation actually gives you a little bit more confidence compared to a light steering uh, those who, who I mean if you have a car that has a light power steering even when you're doing a, a turn then you will understand what I mean. Sometimes you hope it when you turn, when the car loads up the steering wheel, you want you want that, that that feeling to be there. That oh yeah, I'm turning. Hence the car wants to pull back straight. So kind of feeling. Okay, in terms of grip. Okay. Nice. Yeah. It is not as light on its feet as the Latitude Sport 3s. Yeah, but again, you see, you see, it's, it's very consistent here. The Latitude Sport 3 feels light on its feet, but at certain high speed bands, compared to this that loads up slightly heavier, this gives a more planted or more secure feeling. Yeah, that's my final verdict. So, immediately you will feel the tire being uh, more comfortable, uh, quieter. Comfortable is a smaller margin than quiet. Quiet has a bigger margin when compared to my previous tires. As for how the car drives, from a more um, agile or uh, responsive um, setup, right? The, the the Latitude Sport 3 feels light on its feet. Uh, this one feels more stable. Okay, I'm gonna wrap off my verdict on these set of GT Sport S1 tires. I realized one thing just now. No, now this, this is the third or fourth day that I've been driving the car with these new tires. I realized one thing. The heavy steering that I mentioned in the first, second days is gone. Why? We adapt to it. Then this makes me uh, realize that I'm gonna come up with a theory for this, all right? Uh, 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 a term for this, or a, let's say, I mean, this is there's something to do with tires when we test or when we review tires, okay? There are aspects of tires or characteristics that would be most apparent at low speeds and there are aspects or qualities or, or, or characters of tires that are only apparent in high speeds okay so 
let's say this is your speed okay okay this is your speed this is high speed high speed as in um, or our extreme driving conditions high g-forces and all that right it's up here down here is our average driving speed right when we roll out from our parking lots uh, we turn through the streets pedestrian walkways and things like that here and then in the middle will be the highway cruising speed uh, that means the speed is fast but the stress on the tires are not as crazy as the the extreme driving conditions extreme braking conditions okay generally we have this bar here okay when you buy a tire all right it is better to invest in qualities that are I mean for your day-to-day -day car for your day-to-day -day family car you have you are actually spending your money you should spend your money on stuffs that are apparent at the lower range of the bar okay if you are if you own a supercar or a track car or GD3 RS and things like that right you might be buying tires that their qualities are only apparent towards the top end let me break, break, break it down for you okay you're a family man right you have a family car you own a family car and then it's your daily car right you're not gonna buy a tire put money let's say you spend two thousand ringgit per tire or thousand five right you want most of the investment to be on stuffs that you get to use day-to-day -day term not here not here because that those qualities up there will only come out when you throw your family van or your family SUV or your family car into a deep dive hairpin corner you get what I mean right the those will only appear or those conditions will only be met or needed when you're on a track or when you're doing illegal racing right right so those are what we meant by extreme uh, heartbreaking in wet or dry you know those are the extremities of a tires performance yes they do make a difference of course but the occurrence the chance of them appearing is very slim and it's only very slim in the utmost extreme that means only in that kind of situation where you might have a small chance of it appearing versus things like comfort quietness that are immediately perceived or enjoyed the moment you roll your car off right so the moment you come out your car if you, if, if you like, like now i realize these tires are more comfortable are quieter okay maybe in the extremities is not as outright grippy or outright uh, uh, high performance as the the previous ones however the previous tires those qualities are qualities that i in my daily drive i never get to explore put myself into those situations right i'm just doing this i drive you know highway speeds and then back home like that but when your tire uh, has better comfort has better uh pliancy and quietness it is immediate when you come out of your car you start driving you are you are experiencing the uh the benefits or the characteristics already so this is what i felt over the past four days um i remember oh, oh it's quieter it's comfortable mm, i like it i like it and then the steering heavy part i i believe this stays true uh first second day i felt it third day onwards i don't feel it anymore i don't feel like the steering is is uh weighty or 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 whatever anymore why because that is adaptable because we adapt to to those right we adapt to it but uh, in terms of pliancy in terms of sound it is a active perception that okay this is quieter it's not like yes i mean in a way mentally you can uh, you can you can you can you can tune sounds out but but then if if the noise level is here it's here all the time it's not something that oh I feel quiet because I've been in this situation, you know. So, so, so that's what I mean. That's what I felt. I feel now for the past few days. Uh, this makes me all the more, uh, more satisfied. That, um, yeah. So, um, the whole thing is interesting, right? 
I learned of this tire brand is is wow in their event. Then uh, we arranged for an interview. I interview the the um, head of uh, GM of sales and marketing. He flies around all over over the world, and then now I'm testing one set of their tires. And what's best is that um, they're so kind. They have uh, prepared few sets of tires for COM participants to Instagram to to ask questions to win uh, these tires. So for those of you who voted for Cars of Malaysia, thank you. And those of you who voted and also are coming this Saturday, see you there. All right. So that's my tire review of this GD Sport. Cheers.